Howdy folks, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in Indian Harbor Beach, Florida, and I got a nightmare in front of me, so why don't you join me? Now this is a nice little beachside community here in East Central Florida, Brevard County. I'm at a house, it's kind of like a turd in a punch bowl, so to speak, because all the houses around here are nice except for this particular house, and I'm not racial by any means. It's a older black woman with her whole family lives here. They've let the house go. There's leaks all over the place. I've fixed plenty of them. House is more closure, all the windows are boarded up and stuff. Now she's got a leak up underneath the house. So this happens to be a house that's built where there's a underneath access. And I've already been up underneath there and wait until you see what I'm up against. I gotta fix a leak, it's a copper leak. So we're gonna have to lay on her back and do all that stuff. But there's other things, it ain't so pretty. All right, so there is the point of entry right there. And I gotta get way back in there, about 40 feet where there is a half inch copper pipe that is leaking from a T. We need to make a repair. Let's do it. Man, it's spooky under here. I have a long ways to go to get back. I gotta climb underneath pipes, in and out of insulation. We gotta go way back there. We gotta cut a leak out and make the repair. It's on copper, so let's continue. Still got about 30 more feet to go. I see something ahead. We got to check this out. Look at that. See that? It's a massive spider nest. It took insulation down here and they wove themselves a perfectly symmetrical giant nest i bet you that baby's full of giant spiders and babies let's look again whoa man stuck under the house with that we need to stay real clear of that and keep our eyes open wow Let that water drain down. Save up right there is the pinhole. Right there. See it? The lady's wondering why our water bill was so high. And let's see if we got that pipe clean enough. Looks like we've still got a little bit of mess happening there. my mirror down here with me so it's hard to do this.
get the water to stop, but it looks like the joints took, they sealed both sides. Underneath that one too, looks like it's all the way around. Go out and get my partner to turn the water back on. Okay, so my partner was way out there and he couldn't hear me yelling for him to turn the water on. So I called him on the phone and he's getting ready to turn the water on right now. So we're gonna check and see if our leak is gone and then get the hell out of here. Okay, I hear the water. Just got turned back on. Everything looks good. It looks like it's holding and all. I need to get out of here. I'm very uneasy sitting here with that big spider's nest that's right behind me. Mission accomplished. Let's get out. All right, let's put that in here. It's a little bit sure. I hear tons of kids running over all over the place upstairs over the head. Oh, there's that big spider's nest over there. Oh, I gotta go right past them too. Ooh. Right there it is too. I'm gonna go right past it. Oh crap, look at that thing. It's a massive. Glad they're not out here running around. Jeez. Wow. That was an interesting one. Uh, I get up underneath homes all the time and stuff, and I bring it into spiders, snakes, rats, all that other stuff. But that's gotta be one of the biggest spider nests I've ever seen up close and personal. And being underneath a home, making a repair, I don't know if it's full of spiders or it's one giant spider in there, but it's a spider. You can see it's a perfect symmetrical ball that it made out of the insulation down there. Whether it's still in there or not, I don't know. I don't care to find out. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me on this one. Until next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.